hello everyone welcome to our channel in this video we are talking about the characteristics of microorganisms first of all what is microorganisms microorganisms are microscopic organisms which may exist in its single cell form or a colony of cells microorganisms characteristics classification identification are major objectives of all biological sciences Classification means bringing variety of microorganisms in nature. Once we learn the characteristics of organisms, we can compare the characteristics of one organism. We can compare the specific organisms with other organisms to discover their similarities or differences. As we know, it is not easy to study the characteristics of a single organisms because they are very in small size. Therefore, we study them as a culture. Culture means the population of microorganisms that are that are only of one kind. Next, major characteristics of microorganisms. These are the classification. First one is morphological, chemical, cultural, metabolic, antigenic, genetic, and pathogenicity. Number one is morphological characteristics. Morphologic determination of morphological features usually require a studying of individual cells of a pure culture. Microscopic organisms are very small size, and their size is, and their size is usually expressed in micrometers. Routine ex examination of microbial cells require the use of high power microscope, which is the electron microscope, usually a magnification of thousand diameters. The use of electron microscope provides the magnification of 1000 diameters and makes it possible to see the fine details of cell culture. Because micro microorganisms are very small, we cannot see them with our light microscope or simple microscope. That's why we use the electron microscope which is the high resolution microscope. Now the chemical characteristics. Microbial cells consist of a wide variety of organic compounds. When the cells are broken apart and their components subject to a chemical analysis, each kind of microorganism is found to have a chemical composition. Both qualitative and quantitative differences in composition occur among various example organisms. For example, gram-positive and gram-negative organisms. Gram-positive organisms have a lipopolysaccharide in cell wall which is the characteristics of gram-positive bacteria, while gram-negative bacteria do not have this lipopolysaccharide in their cell wall. The other is decoic acid, which is present in gram-positive bacteria, but it is absent in gram-negative bacteria. A major distinction among viruses is made on the basis of any kind of nucleic acid they possess namely ribonucleic acid which is called RNA and deoxyribonucleic acid which is called DNA. Now the cultural characteristics. Each kind of microorganisms has specific growth requirements. Many microorganisms can be grown in a culture medium. A culture medium is a mixture of nutrients used in the laboratory to support growth and multiplication of microorganisms. Some microorganisms can grow in a medium which contain inorganic compounds whereas other require a medium containing organic compounds. Organic compounds include amino acids, sugar, purines, pyrimidines, vitamins, etc. Some require the natural substances like blood cells or some cannot grow in an artificial medium or a laboratory medium. That's why we have to provide them a living host or a living cell. For example, rickettsias require the host in which to grow. An arthropod or a culture of mammalian tissues. The host serves as a very complex medium for which nutritionally demanding microorganisms. As we know, next is my metabolic microscope, metabolic characteristics, sorry. The life processes of the microbial cell are a complex integrated series of chemical reactions collectively referred to as metabolism. 
द वराइटी ऑफ दिस रिएक्शन अफोर्ड मैनी अपॉर्चुनिटीज टू कैरेक्टराइज एंड डिफ्रिशिएट वेरियस ग्रुप ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म फॉर एग्जाम्पल सम माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स ऑप्टेन एनर्जी बाय ऑब्जॉर्बिंग लाइट अदर बाय ऑक्सीडाइजिंग वेरियस ऑर्गेनिक एंड इनऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स एंड एंड अदर्स बाय रीडिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग द एटम्स विद इन सर्टिन मॉलिकूल्स सो दैट द मॉलिकूल्स बिकम लेस स्टेबल माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स ऑप्टेन द एनर्जी फ्राम डिफरेंट सोर्सेज टू ऑप्टेन टू मेटाबोलाइज और टू मैक्सीमाइज देयर मेटाबोलिक एक्टिविटी नेक्स्ट इज एंटीजेनिक करेक्टरिस्टिक्स सर्टिन केमिकल कंपाउंड्स ऑफ माइक्रोबियल सेल्स आर कॉल्ड एंटीजेंस एंटीजेंस आर एंटीजेंस आर प्रोटीन्स प्रोटीन मॉलिक्यूल्स स्पेसिफिक लार्ज केमिकल कंपोनेंट्स एंटीजेनिक करेक्टर characterization of microorganisms has great practical importance if microorganisms enter if microbial cell any other cell enter the animal body the animal responds to the antigen by forming specific blood serum protein called antibodies which bind to the antigens antibodies are highly specific or for the antigen that induce their formation because different kinds of microorganisms have different types of antigens antibodies are widely used as a as tool for the rapid identification of particular kinds of microorganisms antibodies are kind of protein or so called white blood cells next is genetic characteristics the double stranded chromosomal dna which is the genetic material of each kind of microorganism has certain features they have two class type of classification one is dna based classification dna based composition which consists of guanine and cytosine pairs and adenine and thymine pair next one is that this sequence is a next sequence of nucleotide next the sequence is a unique is unique for each kind of organism and is the most fundamental of all characteristics of an organism in addition to chromosomal dna the plasmid dna may be present in microbial cells plasmid is the are circular dna molecules that are capable of autonomous replication within bacterial cells and their presence can be a special characteristics on the cells that contain such that such as the ability to make toxins to become resistant to various antibiotics and so on next is pathogenicity first of all what is pathogenicity the ability of microorganism to cause disease is called pathogenicity pathogenicity of microorganism is certain type of dramatic characteristics certain microorganisms are pathogenic for animals or plants or some microorganisms may cause disease in other microorganisms as well for example viruses are called bacteriophages because they infect and destroy bacterial cells which is the main characteristics of viruses as they can cause disease in bacterial cells thank you all from this video thank you for your watching